uh, today I am going to introduce uh, people who are not familiar with the new, uh, it's not really new, it's a very ancient millet called ragi. Now, this is the ragi grains. This uh, ragi is uh, actually it's a super food and uh, it is uh, kind of little ugly, it's, bl it's dark and uh, not that kind of a flashy and attractive like rice and all. So it is unglamorous uh, poor thing but actually it can be promoted all over the world as a solution to many of the health problems and health crises that people are facing. Now I'll focus in this uh, video mainly on the ragi as from a consumer's point of view. So uh, now a little background about ragi. It's originated in uh, Africa, from Tanzania, Ethiopia and these kind of places. And the people have been eating this for uh, 5,000, maybe even 20,000 years. It's one of the most ancient uh, grains that humans cultivated. And uh, from a uh, from a cuisine, from a health point of view, health food point of view, uh, it has this ragi has some uh, absolutely unique uh, qualities that no other grain is having. First and foremost, it has a very hard to digest outer uh, shell. And uh, therefore, it is impervious to insect attack if it is properly stored. These uh, ragi grains retain their uh, life up to 50 years. So, if countries want to hold uh, some kind of a food sup so supply for emergencies and droughts and all, this is the grain that can be stored because it is uh, naturally resistant to insect attack and all those little bugs and all which ruin the food grains. Rice and wheat and all are very susceptible. So if uh, one uh, acquires some, uh, a drum full of this ragi and uh, properly stores it in an airtight container, you can even rely open it after 25 years and it will be nice to eat. So countries can, should consider promoting this as a key crop for uh, survival in times of extreme crisis and they are saying global warming and droughts and rainfall variation all kind of dire predictions are coming out so in such a situation countries can rather store ragi as a in their uh, go downs for the emergency uh, whatever food security rather than the other grains Simply because if it is uh, not used in uh, this year or suppose, let's assume that uh, you have stocked up this ragi and then no emergency happens, there's bountiful harvest, people don't want, it's, uh, there's no need for it. Then if, it, if you had stored, let's say rice or wheat or anything else, in two years it will become, it has to be animal feed because the humans can't consume it anymore. You have to replenish the stock year after year. But in the case of ragi, even after three years, five years, it can, uh, once you stocked it up, it's like gold actually, it can last for so many years. And that's one part about the storage uh, benefits of the, what natural properties of this one as far as storage is concerned. Then the second issue is the ease of growing. This uh, fantastic crop, it doesn't need any pesticide whatsoever. So when you buy ragi, you don't have to ask for any certification because it uh, nobody uh, pesticides this ragi. And also it doesn't require much additional fertilization, a little urea normally they add. And uh, so it is uh, from contamination point of view, it is one of the safest. It is not grown in wetlands using polluted water like uh, some of the paddy rice and all that. This is grown in the highlands and it's a rain fed crop, so it is not grown using polluted water, it doesn't require pesticides, it requires very minimum fertilization and uh, it is extremely versatile, it's a three month crop 
and uh, it's uh, in between the season if there is people run out of food this is the best one to quickly replenish the stock because within 3 months you have something that's long lasting and uh, now as far as a consumer is concerned this ragi all the grains now most of the grains that we eat they have a acid they create acidic situation in the stomach at the end of the digestion even in the blood so most of the modern people are suffering from al- uh, acidic blood they are eating lot of sugar from day one the children are fed addicted to sugar then uh, that is acidifying then lot of people are consuming alcohol that is acidifying and then all this junk food ready made food packed food everything acidifies your body once your blood gets acidified then the alkaline acid balance gets disturbed in your body arthritis osteoporosis and uh, mouth sores all kind of complications can start and liver trouble for liver people with liver trouble this is one of the best grain all because it can never give you acid reflux some acid is trying to rush out in the opposite uh, direction into the mouth sometimes after eating we eat too much that comes from over acid production and then uh, burning in the stools and all that also because the whole system gets inflamed that piles gills and all kind of unmentionable complications all the digestive uh, ailments can be tackled by consuming this ragi and uh, apart from that it is recommended for babies and uh, people who are convalescing and uh, to give strength because unlike other grains this one has one of the protein is there in it it's not just carbohydrate it has a protein component it has lot of iron and minerals and calcium and uh, all in all it's a wonder food and i recommend people who are not uh, exposed to this ragi to study about it little bit and uh, who have never tried it try to procure some ragi and and uh, you know get the benefit of it apart from that the real beauty of this crop is it's the cheapest grain now rice must be about 30 40 rupees the kg and uh, this wheat and all of them are costing at least double of this ragi so from a uh, ecological point of view it's a good crop from a national security and a individual food security if you are worried about your food supplies i would recommend you to store this ragi rather than any other grain so for ecological purposes it's extremely superior it doesn't need pesticides fertilizer all that and then from a consumer's point of view it is least polluted it rarely contains toxic residues because it's not grown in those places doesn't need much water and it doesn't need pesticide so it has no residue very little residues economical high shelf life and it has protein it has minerals it has calcium and it's alkaline unlike all those other grains this is the only one that's alkaline and uh, strengthens the bones and all so and easy to grow so i recommend this uh, as a crop for all people who are concerned about food security and who are into gardening and uh, not exactly gardening but farming farming and food based uh, industries they should have a look at this uh, ragi and uh, don't be misled by its uh, little rustic and unglamorous uh, look it's a it's you no know, beauty is only is not uh, is only skin deep deep in inside properties make it the number one grain as far as humanity is concerned today in uh, my humble opinion